Hi, everybody. It's Miss Christy and Miss Andrea and Samantha Jong. We are here today because we're going to make a story time celebrating the Moon Festival. Sam, will you tell us a little bit about the Moon Festival before we get started? Sure. The Moon Festival, or also known as the Mid Autumn Festival, celebrates the a night with the full moon in the sky, and a lot of people also consider it as a holiday where you think about your family and you come together as a whole family in a reunion, because it's just like how the moon is round.、Um, the word for reunion in Chinese also sounds like the full moon sound, Chuanyuan, and so it is a holiday where family gets together like Thanksgiving,、oh. and it's also the holiday where you hang up. Beautiful lanterns all over the streets, and people go outside at night to enjoy the beautiful moon. Oh, this sounds really good. So, <laughs> friends,、it. today what we're going to do is we're going to read two different stories for the Moon Festival, and we're all going to read them together. So, we're going to start with this book. This book is called Moon Festival Wishes by Jillian Lin. Lin. Ling. Ling. <laughs> Jillian. She's Sam's going to help us with pronunciation. Jillian Ling. And then we're gonna read a big moon cake for little star by Grace Lin. Same last name. <laughs> Same last name. That's an accident. That was not on purpose, friends. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna start with Moon Festival wishes, and I'm gonna start it, and then Miss Andrea is gonna take it, and then Sam's gonna take it. All right. I know. I'm always in your space. Okay. Moon Festival wishes by Jillian. Lin. Okay, the first part of this story, friends, is a story about this little girl named May. Little girl named May, and this is how her family in the current day celebrates the Moon Festival. She says, "Hi, I am May. Today is a special day for my family. The moon is big and round tonight. It is the Chinese Moon Festival. And friends, if you check this book." Out of the library, you can see that there it is written in both English and Chinese. This one's in our collection. It will be. It's very almost、soon. in our collection. It will be in our collection by the time you see this video. <laughs> We clean and decorate the house. Pictures of the moon go on the walls. I make a paper lantern. Grandma makes yummy moon cakes. Oh, yummy moon cakes! Sounds like a good idea to me. I visit the temple with Grandma. We bow three times and pray. Grandma says I can make a wish. What shall I wish for? What would you wish for, my friends? Not to clean. That would be my wish. That is a very good wish. I think it's a good wish. <laughs> Any ideas? What would you wish for? I think I would wish for my family to clean for me. <gasps> Even better. That's the best wish. It is the night of the Moon Festival. My family has a huge, delicious dinner. The food we eat is round like the moon, and so is my tummy. <laughs> I am not going to demonstrate that part, friends, <laughs> because it is all too accurate. Outside, the moon is big and bright. Grandma lights sticks and candles. We pray to the goddess of the moon. I hope she likes our food. I hope they can see these pictures. If not, friends, come check out the book, and then you can see them better. At last, I get what I wish for. What did she wish for? Do you suppose? Maybe a moon cake.、Hmm. Grandma gives me a moon cake. I light my new lantern. Happy Moon Festival. Everyone. Oh, <laughs> so that's the first part, my friends, and it says the end. But is it the end? No, indeed, it is not. All right, Miss Andrea, are you ready to go? I am ready. You want to slide over in my personal space? <laughs> Here、All、we go. Here she is. <laughs> All right, my friends, I am very excited to read to you the story of the Moon Festival. Long ago, the Earth had ten suns. How many suns does our Earth have? Only one, right? It was very, very hot. A man in China 
had a special bow. He shot down nine of the sons. So if there were ten sons and he shot down nine, how many does that leave? One, One son. The earth was saved. People were very happy. They gave the man a magic pill. It would make him live forever. His wife, Chang Ua, Chang Ua, thank yes, you. There you go. <laughs> we practiced. Took the pill. <laughs> she felt strange. She felt very light. Oh no, she went up into the sky. Chang Ua landed on the moon. Chang Ua's husband was very sad. Each full moon, he prayed for her. Today, Chinese people do the same. They call it the Moon Festival. Oh. The end. Is that a story that you learned when you were young, Miss Sam? Um, I think so. There's, it's a very ancient tale, like dating thousands of years back. And, well, some say um, his, her husband was the one who shot down the ten moon, ten suns in the sky. And there's other legends that say it was actually a different god. But in each case, Chang Er, her his wife, was the one who flew up into the moon. And as she was flying up, she grabbed her pet rabbit because she was panicking. And that is why in Chinese myths and all Asian myths, really, there are rabbits in the moon who keeps her company. Otherwise, she'll be all alone up there. <laughs> Remind me to point that out. Oh, yeah. Other. Okay. <laughs> so, and so that was the second part of this book, my friends. And then the third part is it's called did you know and if you remember from the last time that we did a story time with you this was full of lots of factual information and i'm so glad you're here today because when miss andrea and i did it alone together we had many questions that we did not have yeah. answers for this so. book should have included answers with the questions, <laughs> with the questions. <laughs> it didn't and we looked some of them up but it works much better with you here so Yay. now miss sam is going to take a turn sure to read. and you can skip that one okay, question. so the Moon Festival is also called the Mid-Autumn Festival because it's happening in the, I guess, beginning of fall right now, but mm -hmm. <laughs> middle of autumn. Um, to wish someone happy Moon Festival in Chinese, you would say Zhongqiu Kuai or Mid-Fall, Mid-Autumn Happy. So Zhongqiu Kuai Le. Zhongqiu Kuai Le. Zhongqiu Kuai Le. Very good. Yes, good job. <laughs> and um, you would also say how you call a mooncake is yue bing. Yue bing. Yue bing. Perfect. Ooh. So the I moon. Was perfect. Yes, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so the moon is yue or yue liang in the sky, and bing is kind of like any kind of cakes, like pancakes or cake cakes or, you know, that kind of stuff. So, okay. yue bing, moon cake. Next, around the moon festival, you can find lion or dragon dances, markets, and lantern parades in many countries of Asia. And these countries include Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, like all the Asian countries celebrate this same holiday. They each have their own versions and customs, but Similar, similar. Um, it's pretty much all the same holiday. <laughs> and then to celebrate the Moon Festival, people give each other boxes of moon cakes. They are filled with eggs, red beans, lotus seeds, and nuts because all Chinese desserts are very natural and not really made of sugar and stuff. <laughs> no butter back in ancient times. So why do you think moon cakes are round? Why do you think they're round? Why? Hmm? Because they look like the moon? Very good, yes. Wow. Because... I was going to say lots of smart alecky things between oh. the answer, but that's all right. <laughs> forego that. Yeah, like part of the whole moon festival, because it happens according to the lunar calendar, the same time every year where the moon is the biggest and roundest in the sky. And so to represent that roundness, people make round moon cakes, even though there are also molds where they're square and such. But you know, the, the traditional shape is round. It's round. <laughs> okay. All right. And some Chinese stories say that Chang Er lives on the moon together with a rabbit. Can you think of any other festival or celebrations that has a rabbit? I can. 
Can you think of one? The one that immediately springs to mind is not a fall festival, though. How about you, friends? Can you think of any celebrations? That happens in the spring. That happens in the spring. Do you want to say it? You want me to say it? It's Easter. It's Easter, yeah, friends. We're all, it's Easter. We're all thinking <laughs> Easter. We're all thinking Easter. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. There's, and I wonder, well, who can know how that parallel happened or if that's even a parallel. Interesting. Mm. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. In China, the rabbit is up in the moon, basically making medicine with Chang'e. And then in Japan, when that um, when that story passed on to Japan, they started thinking that the rabbit's up there making mochi. So every single country has its own slight variation. That's really cool. Oh, that is cool. I love that. Yeah. Is that the end of this That's book? That's the end, but I have one more question. Yes. So, my friends, why do you think Chang'e took the... Um, immortality pill without her husband. Ooh, Ooh, what a good that question. Is a oh, that's question. a great question. Yes. Why? Did you think she just wanted to live forever? No, it wasn't the case. As it happens to be, her husband was out of town that day, mm -hmm. and a bad guy in town knew about the pill and tried to take it from them while her husband was out because he's the strong hero, and she was just this beautiful woman that everyone knew because of her beauty in order to protect the pill from being taken by this evil guy who will then, you know, do evil onto the world for Forever. all eternity. Forever. Yeah, the only thing she could do was to take the pill herself to sit, protect the world from this bad guy. Oh, oh wow. What a hero. Yeah. And she became the hero as right. well. And oh, that's yeah. why like she that flew lot. up into the sky away from her husband, never to be joined again but him to, oh. they miss each other terribly but they can see each other whenever they look into the into sky, the sky. oh the i love that oh. part of the story see we would never have known yeah. that <laughs> had you not told us all right friends so um should we tell them about the festival coming this friday or will this video air Hopefully it will air before we'll that. Air before <laughs> this, so we will we this coming Friday, which is September 9th, There is a festival going on at the yes. senior center, the Portage Senior Center, which my friends is nearby, is near the library. It's hard to miss. It's on Center Street, um, and if you have any questions, call the library, and we'll let you know where it is. It's from 4 p.m. until 6 p.m. Correct. Yes, I think so. Yeah. And it's hosted by both the Senior Center and the um, WMU Asian Initiative Program. But just like the book says, there'll be lion dances and lanterns, and there'll even be mooncake tasting. And um, there'll be dancers from Kalamazoo Chinese Academy. I am the executive director. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will have a very exciting program filled with fun, interactive activities for the whole family for you guys there. Oh, that's and we're definitely going. Miss Andrea and I yeah. um, are going to go. So and everyone be, can come too. It's yes, not just everyone. Ours. It's for it's for all ages. It's not just for senior citizens. It's for families as well. That's right. And then the Sunday following that is the first day of school for the KCA, okay. and where we have language classes, dance classes, Chinese yo yo, various other cool stuff, oh. including um, youth martial arts and adult tai chi. So. And that's also so happening cool. at the senior center, right? That is correct. Also happening at the senior center. So, friends, it's really fun and exciting. And if you want more information, you can contact the library and we will get you in touch. So, sure. I'm sure we can post the link on the video. Yes. Oh, that sounds perfect. <laughs> well, what do you think, my friends? Is it time to read this story? I think it's time. Okay, my friends, it's time to read this book, which we love very much. Miss Andrea and I saw this author, Grace Lean, uh, present at uh, a conference that we went to, and she has recently been awarded a Lifetime Achievement for Contribution to Children's Literature Award. And so we, we adore this book, and I'm excited to do this one. It's about mooncakes itself. It's not as much a depiction of the story of the Moon Festival as it is a celebration of mooncakes. So let's let's read this one. Okay, friends, I have to show you the end papers on this one. Can you see how everything's really black? See how it's very dark? Do you suppose it takes place at night? It does. And do you see what little Star and her mother are doing? They are making a giant moon cake, my friends. So that's wow. how our story begins. That is huge. It is gigantic. Look at the size of that. That's almost enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
So friends, that's how the story begins, is Little Star and her mother are making a moon cake. And it's called A Big Moon Cake for Little Star. All right, sorry, Miss Andrea. I know I'm in your space again. Little Star's mama laid the big moon cake onto the night sky to cool. Now, Little Star, Mama said, your moon cake took us a long time to make. So let's see if you can make it last a while. Can you remember not to touch this big moon cake until I tell you to? Yes, Mama, Little Star said, nodding. Okay, friends, how do we think that's actually going to go? <laughs> Let's see. I think Little Star wants to remember not to touch the big moon cake. Hmm. Are you ready, Miss Andrea? Miss Andrea is playing the part of Little Star. And Little Star remembered as she brushed her teeth, washed her face. Oh, well done. Snuggled into bed and fell asleep. <laughs> But in the middle of the night, Little Star woke up. Oh, my goodness. Miss Sam, what do you think she's thinking of? Cake. Cake. <laughs> it's cake. <gasps> I love this picture. Look. Oh, Can so you see sneaky. how she's only peeking? <laughs> she forgot everything her mama had said and only remembered the big moon cake. Well, That's the sound of her little bare feet. Pat, pat, pat. Little stars saw feet tiptoed to the big moon cake. It's the moment of truth, friends. Will she remember at the last minute not to eat the moon cake? No, she will not. <laughs> Would her mama notice if she took a tiny nibble? Oh, that's such a tiny nibble tiny. and such a big cake. It's giant. Nobody's going to know. Little Star didn't think so. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. <gasps> but was someone coming? Little Star flew back to bed. Ooh. Oh, she has wheels. That makes flying exceptionally. <laughs> well done. The next night, Little Star remembered the big moon cake again. That one bite had been so sweet and tasty. Was the cake still there? <laughs> is she going to oh. take a bite? Of course she is. Yes, it was. There was that big moon cake, an almost perfect circle, all alone and delicious in the sky. Would her mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? We'll start to think so. Yum! Little star flew back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, it's hard to see. And if you check this book out of the library, you'll be able to see it. But when little star flies back to bed, she leaves behind her a sprinkling of crumbs that could also represent stars, couldn't they? It's a very beautiful book. So little star is leaving behind her a sprinkling of crumbs. And the next night, what do you think Little Star remembered? The big moon cake, of course. Would Mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Mm, mm, mm. And the night after that, what did Little Star do? Oh, you know. Nibble, nibble, y'all. Okay, friends, can you actually imagine eating a cookie that big? I mean, I can imagine it, but yes. And oh, oh, I almost forgot. Do you see what her little stuffed animal is? It's a rabbit. Do you see, isn't that a neat, a neat inclusion with the parallel with the story? Yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> night after night after night, Little Star took tiny nibble after tiny nibble of the big moon cake. And so friends, this could also, I don't think this is part of the official legend, but it does see how she's the eating the phases of the moon and yeah. you know how the moon appears to change. It doesn't actually change my friends. It's just the shadow. 
but it appears to change so that sometimes the moon is big and round and sometimes it's just a little crescent. Sometimes it's something in between that. Until one night, little star's mama went to look for the big moon cake. Where was it? Hmm. In her belly. It was in her <laughs> belly. It was gone. Instead of a glowing round cake, there was just a trail of twinkling crumbs. Who do we think it led to? <sighs> little star. I think this stuff led to little star. Oh, oh, the clues. Here she is. Yes. Mamas always know. Just so you know, they always know. Little star, her mama said, shaking her head, even though her mouth was curving. You ate the big moon cake again, didn't you? Little star looked up, her grin reflecting her mama's smile. She ate it again? <sighs> Friends, this has happened before. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, mama, little star said, nodding. Now, let's go make another one. And there they are walking across the night sky. And the book ends as it began with a little star and her mama making another big moon cake. Now, friends, do you think it's going to come out the same way? I do. Yes, it is. All right. Well, thank you for listening, friends. Those are two books that are available. If you would like to learn more about the Moon Festival um, with books from the Portage District Library. Do yes. either of you have anything else you would like to tell our friends before we tell them goodbye? Yes, I'm actually going to share with everyone here some moon cakes. I that forgot about this part. Reading about, yeah. Oh, I forgot about. Oh, <laughs> look how beautiful! Wow. Oh, that's really pretty. This is the Moon Palace up in the moon, along with I believe yes, the rabbit on in there. And oh, the that name, is. The name of the rabbit is Jade Rabbit. Jade Rabbit. Yes. Can I hold it up so they oh, can sure. see it? I'm going to hold it way up here. It is also the name of China's um, lunar rover r robot up there. Because oh, they okay. named it after the legend. Oh, how cool. I, I did not know that either. Yeah, the mission is called Chang'e, just like the goddess oh. up there. And the robot is named after the rabbit. I love that. And here are the moon kings. Here, friends, let's take a look. Oh, oh, there's very all cool. kinds of different molds which you can make beautiful patterns with. And I brought some forks and oh, knives wow, to you cut it up. I am so prepared. We were just going to dig in. but <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, I will give you the fork and you can do the honors. Because oh. I'm really bad at cutting them. Okay, all right, no pressure though. Go. No pressure. All right, here Lots we go. of pressure. <laughs> there's right. no wrong way to do it. Okay, that's good, no good news to have. All so right, here friends, here we are. And I have to tell you, my friends, I have never tried a moon cake. Miss Andrea, you've had a moon cake before. I did have a moon cake. The KCA, the Kalamazoo Chinese Academy, came and um, brought us moon cakes a couple of years ago, and they were so good. So, yeah. so these are some of my favorite friends to have visit because they have treats. <laughs> they bring us cake. <laughs> Unfortunately, my own daughter hates moon cakes. Oh, no. She hates them? Yes. Oh, dear. It's not for everyone, apparently, but I love them. Oh, And they're okay. very delicious. And Here rich. we go. All right. I'm going to, I'm just going to oh, cut it in yes. pieces and then each of us can try some. Does that sound like a good idea? Perfect. Okay. One for all of us. One for room. all of us, including Mr. Colin, who, friends, you cannot see. <laughs> who was running the camera. The magician behind the camera. Yes, who yes. cut out all of the mistakes we made, um, which were, of course, not. No. We no. didn't make mistakes. No, what? No, never had. Perfect run through. Perfect yes. run through. All right, are we ready? Can I just hand it to you like this? Sure. Well, oh, that's going to be a messy. Oh, is it crumbly? It's okay. Yeah. It's it okay. Are you ready? Miss Andrea, I touched it. Do you trust me? I do trust you, Miss Christie. You shouldn't trust me. It's not on there very good. <laughs> Okay, and then, all right, Miss Sammy, ready? I'm going to make sure. you a little. Um, Are we all going to eat them together? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Don't you go yet. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. This one this. is lotus seed. Oh, with... nothing. oh, oh good oh. catch. Okay. Nothing Almost happened. a good catch. It wasn't really, though, a good catch. <laughs> nothing to see here, friends. Nothing to see here. Yeah, you can have this one. Here, oh, give great. her this one. This one's one. still got yolk. Don't, it's don't too... eat table yolk. <laughs> don't eat table yolk. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Here, don't touch that. Okay. okay, here, give me that. 
Sorry, Palin, you don't get any. Um, oh, no, you can't have All right, one. <laughs> you can have one. Maybe you can have one. All right, Miss Sam, I'm going to put sure. this right here. I was just here. Right there. All right. hand never touched anything. The hand never touched anything. It's freshly washed. <laughs> and I get this because I cut it open. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Hang on. I want to get a piece of the yolk, too. All right, first bite of mooncake. Mm. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that is really good. Very rich. Mm hmm. And mm -hmm. the egg yolk is salted, so it's a mixture of sweet and salty. I love that. I'm going to try not to talk with my mouth full, <laughs> but I am talking with my mouth full. Mm, I think Ooh. that's really tasty. That I is like delicious. That. I have another bite quick. I think this is, no, it's not the first time I've eaten on a video. No. No, no. Mm. We did the tasty, tr oops, nothing to see here. For those of you at home who also wants to try Come to the event for tasting, or mm. they're available at Costco. <laughs> Costco? <laughs> Someone mm -hmm. working at Costco has been ordering all these amazing Asian treats that usually isn't there. So mm. thank you, whoever is there ordering Chinese stuff. <laughs> From, oh, that's delicious. Oh, wow. These are great. Sam, thank you. Thank you, Ms. That Sam. was so delicious. All right. Hang on. Mm. We'll say goodbye before mm. we take another bite. Yes. Okay. We should probably <laughs> say goodbye before we take another bite. And then we have to guard this. From Mr. Colin. <laughs> These are ours. All right. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, friends. Thank you for coming to our story time. And Bye. thank you for having me. Oh, thank I'm you so glad coming. that you came. Yes. I learned so much. That I did, too. Really we cool. got to do this this way again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Four Bye, major everybody. holidays a year in Chinese traditional holidays. So okay. we can all do right. that. So we get to have you come in again. Sure. It works much better to. that way because then we aren't left with all these questions. And yeah. mispronunciations. And that, too. <laughs> All right. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.